diabetes. So there are two types of diabetics, type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes, these people, they're born with it. And what's going on is that their pancreas is not producing enough insulin or no insulin at all. So what needs to happen is that you have glucose which runs in your bloodstream. When glucose increases a lot in your bloodstream, the pancreas releases insulin and glucose needs to get into the cell, right? So glucose needs to get into the cell to create energy and keep you alive. When glucose increases in your blood cell, the pancreas activates insulin because glucose cannot get into the, into the cell by, by itself. It needs insulin, which is like a doorman with a special key, which opens that door, lets glucose in the cell, and then energy is created. So that's why insulin is so important. Well, for type 1 diabetics, they're going to be what's called insulin dependent, which means they have to take insulin in order, in order to live a normal life and to have this happen, in order to have the glucose get into the cell to create energy and keep them alive. In type 2 diabetics, this is usually brought up over time as, as people get older and it's from unhealthy habits, from bad eating habits. So uh, this is the best example that I, can, that I can show you with. So this is food, mouth, esophagus. This is the stomach, small intestines. So what happens is, as you're eating food, it goes down through your esophagus, it gets broken down in your stomach, and then it travels down through your, in your small intestines. Uh, well, first it's large intestines, small intestines, but you guys kind of follow me. Um, well, in your small intestine, that that food gets extricated. The carbohydrates from that food gets it gets extricated and converted into glucose. So if you're overeating too many carbohydrates, you're producing a lot, a lot of glucose. So that this is supposed to be like, let's say this is a a container and it represents your blood vessels throughout your body. Well, if you're over consuming on carbohydrates and you're creating all that into glucose, you're going to have a lot of glucose. And in type 2 diabetes, what happens is that your pancreas sometimes cannot keep up with the amount of glucose you're creating and you're overworking it too so much that in some cases it just shuts down and it stops producing insulin. It just it taps out. It can't go anymore. Um, also, what may happen is that your receptors start to res resist the insulin because of the op overproduction uh, of insulin. It's kind of like, you know, you get kind of numb to what you see every day. Kind of that same situation. So what's going to help this type of person? The only, the only thing that can really help this type of diabetic, it may be insulin, but really diet, just kind of cutting back on the carbohydrates and working out is what really helps this patient out. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to break down type 1 and type 2. I did make a, a completely different video that you can watch. It's an earlier video on just diabetic emergencies, what to watch out for, bracelets, stuff like that, the behavior issues. Um, for this one, I just, I just wanted to cover type 1, type 2, what's really going on in the body, and what, what can you do to fix it. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.